As an industrial PhD student, for me, it was a challenge to make everybody in the company understand what I did because I wasn't there all the time. So I needed to find a way to make everybody engaged in the project. And the solution for that was a newsletter. I think it's quite easy as an industrial PhD student to be isolated. You are doing a project very much on your own. You are sort of between the university and the company and you're constantly trying to bridge the gap between science and commercial value. And the newsletter was a good way for me to try and sort of bring those two closer together. The newsletter is an email I send out once a month with a little news about the project, the progress, if there are any new results and what I'm going to do next. Every now and then I also include any new interesting scientific knowledge within the area that the company works. In an industrial PhD there are a lot of stakeholders, not just your supervisors, but other people in the company, investors, collaborators, the, the marketing or the PR department. Many different people who may not necessarily be used to um, working with scientists or within science. And this is a very good way of keeping them informed about what's happening, but also um, yeah, excited about what's happening. It gives them a sense that they are getting something out of having an industrial PhD student, not just when the project ends, but also along the way. The marketing department can use that newsletter to PR purposes or marketing and, and showing their customers that they are engaged in um, scientific research directly and that their products are based on scientific knowledge. My advice is to try to uh, keep the language in a sort of everyday language and to uh, keep it short and not too many details and not too many scientific things because you will end up losing people. For me, it has been a really good practice in trying to translate what I do, which is also the very scientific part, into something that everybody can understand. Over time, I end up with a lot of newsletters translating the science I do into everyday language, and I reuse that in my presentations that I give for the company for customers or collaborators. The newsletter definitely made me feel more part of the company because I felt that I was in contact with not just my supervisor and my immediate peers, but also everybody else in the company. And I think it made everybody else feel that they were part of this project, even though they may not be sort of directly involved in it. So my advice as an industrial PhD student is to either write a newsletter or to find some other way of engaging the entire company in your project. <laughs>